Welcome to an Unruly Guide step-by-step -step video. This video is part of our tutorials that offer step-by-step -step guidance through ebook formatting, book cover design, print on demand, and more. In this video, I'll show you how to easily create a linkable and logical table of contents. Remember back when you first made your Word file, I had you preset the H1, H2, and normal text. The reason for this is because it actually helps you create the table of contents in Sigil. Now if you didn't set some of your chapters in the H1 or heading tag, it's easy to do with the features up here in the menu bar. An easy way to set your heading or paragraph tags are using the preset styles in the menu bar above. You would simply select the text that you wish and choose the style. So for example, to set the style for chapter 2 to a heading 1 tag, you would highlight chapter 2 and select the H1 tag. Once all the heading tags have been set, we can easily create your table of contents. The first thing you do is go up to Tools and select Table of Contents, Generate Table of Contents, or you can use the shortcut Command-T. You can see that all the heading tags are listed, and in some cases you may not want your second or H2 tag, so you would just uncheck these boxes. You could also use the drop-down box and just say up to level 1 and it will only display your H1 headings. Once you have this area the way you'd like, click OK. Notice now that your chapters are now listed in the Table of Contents window. This is your Table of Contents NCX file. You can view the actual coding of the TOC NCX file by clicking TOC NCX in the Book Browser window. When I scroll down, you can see in the coding the two chapters we just created. These are called nav points. Unless you really like to do the coding by hand, let Sigil do all the coding for you automatically. Now I'd like to show you how easy it is to generate a linkable table of contents with the click of a button. We just generated the TOC NCX file. Now I want to create the TOC page. Go up to Tools and select Table of Contents and then create HTML table of contents. Note that Sigil automatically created your TOC XHTML file. It also added the title table of contents and links to both your chapters on the TOC page. Sigil also created a style sheet called sgc-toc.css. This style sheet is associated to the table of contents page. If you are comfortable with CSS coding, feel free to edit the style sheet to fit your design style. One final thing you need to do for your table of contents is set the semantics. This is a requirement for Kindle Books. Unless you tell the ebook that the TOC XHTML file is indeed the table of contents, it may not be able to find it and indicate that you do not have a TOC in your book. To do this, you simply right click, choose semantics, table of contents. If you're using the most updated version of Sigil, Sigil will have created the TOC semantics for you, but it's always good to double check. If you select the checked table of contents, that means you're unchecking it. So just always make sure that it is indeed checked. A TOC page is only required in Kindle books and mostly the older Kindles. It is not a requirement for EPUBs, since EPUB files use the TOC NCX file to generate their table of contents. Therefore, you do not need to generate one for your EPUB formatting. In the next video, we'll be talking about how to set your metadata. These are things including the description, title of your book, the author name, ISBN number, cover artist, and more.